Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another episode in my Unreal Engine multiplayer series I'm going to do. It. So in this episode I'm going to show you how to add uh, a body to the non-local players. That means for the local player this is a, just a first person game. So therefore it doesn't have a, a character mesh. Uh, but when I see myself in the other player's perspective there should be a character body so i'm going to show you how to do that part and this episode is sponsored by these patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so this is what we have so far. We can sh shoot from server and client, and both client and server. Uh, the projectiles are properly replicated, and also this physics bodies are also replicated. Right. So now I need to add a body to the other character. So as you can see here, when I see the other player, we only see the gun. Uh, even though it's fine for me, even I, if I don't have a body, well, I'm not seeing my body anyway, because this is first person, but for other players, there should be a body. So, right. Uh, uh, how to go about that so now let's add first this third person character because we can use that animation blueprint here right but we will need few additional animations for the shooting parts as uh, parts but for now let's use this mm, here I'll add a skeletal mesh and a capsule component it should be under capsule component yeah okay I'll call it TP mesh. TP stands for third person. Um, no, let's call it just tracked body. Okay, and for the skeletal mesh, now that I have added the third person template we have this third person mannequin and for animation blueprint we also have the third person anim bp right so i'll add it and now we have the character body like this which is not ideal so i'll rotate it 90 degrees and move it down let me take a look get from this way it's not ideal but all right let's leave it like this yeah let's leave it like this okay now let's see what happens when we play okay <clears throat> we can see our character which is not ideal so now here we have that option owner no see so i'm gonna enable that right okay now there is the other character cool so and here for the this guy 
we can see our body all right so yeah that's it now the next issue is it doesn't look very good because you can see the gun is coming out of the chest it shouldn't be that way so we need to fix that right uh, actually instead of using this uh, third person character we have a better easy option easier option so we have this uh, animation starter pack from epic games so we can use this pack to our project mm -mm. MP. this one let's add it to the project right done now let me open my project okay uh, let's see oh we have a different character here yeah a bunch of animations and also we have this uh, animation blueprint as well just a skeleton okay it is using this skeleton which is already inside the anime starter pack so right therefore let's use that one now we have two mannequins okay and for the animation blueprint ue4 asp hero is that the one yeah that's the one um But why it's not working? Same mannequin. Yeah, let's play and see. Oh yeah, it is working. Okay, it has to be at the runtime. All right. So now the next thing is we need to attach the gun to the hand actually to the hand instead of uh... oh wait here we have a problem we don't see the why is that oh maybe is it because this one was already here no All right. In this instance, it is still third person animation blueprint. Why didn't it change? Let's change it here. So it should be all right. Okay, now let's play. Right. Now for both players, it's okay. Alright. Now. In, in the begin play. Oh, let's. I need some space here. Ah, this is for VR. The rest of the stuff is for VR. So here, let me collapse this. 
no here let's add a branch let me call it multiplayer setup yes the branch condition i'm gonna use has authority so for the server no sorry not has authority uh, there is something like uh, locally uh, is locally controlled okay so if this character is locally controlled we don't have to do anything otherwise Read this and let's attach the gun this gun to the hand of the character so how to attach let's go here and let's see the normal animation the idle animation right here here we need to attach the gun so let's attach it to the right hand I need the socket here and we can preview this gun skeletal mesh uh, let me pause the animation have to change this in order to make it look better uh, then uh, here uh, in the multiplayer setup get the gun and attach to attach to component yeah, parent is this character the body and the socket name is is uh, gun socket right now let's see how it looks okay. so that's all right so that's how the other player looks and when rotating and everything it doesn't look very good but we can fix them okay. 
that's basically it so in future i hope to fix these uh making this when it rotate it looks sliding let's fix them and also it needs to when the other character look up and down it should also look up and down as well uh, so let's fix those problems in another episode and right and as uh, yeah always the project files will be available for downloading in the patreon page and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye